What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Field, and today we are talking about another digital version of the SP1200. So let's get into it. <laughs> we are looking at the ESPI sampling percussion, and I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so I said, let me just go ahead and make a video. This is the free version, so you can try it out, and that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. This is a first look. So this just goes to show you that the SP-1200 is in demand. People want this, man. They, they want access to this because everyone does not have access to the original, the original drum machine. So it's good to see stuff like this in development. What we're going to do is see what this guy is all about and you have all your pads down here you have the look Ooh. and like i said this is the free version and the free version comes with stock sounds that you can play with okay as you can see up top i cannot unlock sampling because i do not have the paid version by the way all this is in beta so it's still under development and um let's just explore man so we have your setup up here this midi First thing I want to do is make sure my MIDI works. I am on my MIDI controller. Okay, so we would go up here to where it says MIDI, and then I guess select input. That's number one, so I will type one, I guess. I'll hit that, and then zero through four, which function? I want input, so that's number one. Okay. And it says that it has my USB MIDI keyboard. Cool. So we, we like that. Cool. Okay. So next thing I want to do is assign these pads to my keys down here. Right? Okay. Right now there's nothing. <laughs> so what do I have to do? Assign the buttons. So I guess that would be number three. I'll hit three over here. And then MIDI assign select control. So I want to select a sound. Let's just go through some of the sounds. And you have four banks, A, B, C, and D. Let's go to the next thing, next bank. That's nice too. Ooh, open hi-hat? Let's get that. So let's assign this. Assign number three. That note, which is, it says, Assign pad three, but this is technically four, right? This is, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> is that a glitch or what? Okay. All right, let's put a kick on here. Let's use that. Kick. All right. And then we're going to do a drum pattern. All right, cool. So now, let's see what these effects, let me see if I can uh, tune this. That would be cool. Tune this kick. Oh, so you can do that. Cool. Let's let's check out the filter. I go up here to setup, and then I guess 14. It would be 14. So everything it shows you exactly what it is, which is cool. Wait, enter. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see about creating a uh, pattern, man. Where do we go? We're on sequence and we have song mode. We're in sequence mode. So let's go to the length. We want two bars. Cool. If you wanted to change that, you just go over here. Boom. Three bars, four bars, whatever. Let's stick with two bars. And then you can tempo. Cool. Select tempo. How do you do that? <laughs> oh, okay. You hit it twice. Boom. And let's go with, uh, do we want to stick with 91? We'll go slower. Select BPM. Okay, this, this is how you change that. Select BPM and then use the arrows. Let's go to autocorrect. Here it is, okay. Autocorrect high res. I think that's what we want. Otherwise, it would be, this would be time correct. I think this means it's unquantized, so we'll keep it at that. Here we go. Now 
Now let's see what would happen if I adjust the swing. Can I do that? Boom, swing. Okay, you hit swing and then adjust it like that. Okay. Huh. This last sample on D flat. How about that? And enter. Ah. Now let's say I wanted to change the pitch. I can do that. you could do more you know do more to it and do like more sequences and then put them in it into a song and just play along with it i just wanted to share this because people was asking me about it this is my first look to be honest with you so honestly i really don't know what i'm doing but i was able to figure that out just in this short amount of time so <laughs> so shout out to low hiss you can check out their website over here lowhiss.com and again, you can do this right now for free, free. Or if you want to buy a license and the prices are at the website and all that good stuff. And they're also gonna have it available for mobile. So as an app, so that's really cool. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've used this, let me know what you think. Pros and cons, I'd be interested to hear what you think. It's your man, Jay Field. I'll see y'all next time, peace. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon page if you want to support your homie. And every week you will get sample kits from yours truly on a weekly basis. And um, yeah, and you can watch me make a beat out of it every week on twitch.tv slash very sick beats. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and positive energy.